the senior. The tackles are Sean O'Brien, 200-pound senior, and Eddie Garza, 185 and a senior. And 190-pound senior Terry O'Leary starts at nose guard. The linebackers for Pasco, John Burris, 175 and a junior. Scott Dixon, 180 and a senior. The corners are Willie Sims, 150 and a senior. And Willie Northern, 155 and a senior. The free safety is Simon Lopez, 150 and a senior. And Scott Lunders, 160 and a junior, is the strong safety. We'll be back with more pregame activities after this 30-second timeout. Hello, I'm Don McClure. Les Schwab has a new kind of tire for year-round driving. It may be the only tire you'll need for all seasons. The Moldemile All-Season Radial. Studless tread rubber and a special new traction action tread design provide thousands of biting edges. Steel belts give safety and long mileage. Buy your all-season radials at Les Schwab. You'll get our famous road hazard service and warranty policy and sudden service, too. Come see your sudden service team at Don McClure Tire Center on Court Street in Pasco. Let's take a look at the Pasco offensive lineup very quickly here for the Bulldogs. The split end will be Bill Bowles, 155 and a senior. The tight end is Jeff King, 200-pound junior. The tackles will be Tim Ellenberger, 200-pound senior, and Keith Allen, 235 and a senior. The guards are Randy Clausen, 210 and a senior, and Ken Brownley, 185 and a senior. Mike Welch, 190-pound senior, will be at center. The quarterback will be Kerry Fink, 165 and a senior. The tailback is Jim Geyer, 180 and a junior. Brett Humphrey, 175 and a junior, is the fullback. Joe Palomares, 155, and a senior, will be at the flanker back spot for Pasco. And for Kennewick, uh, defensively tonight, the 5-2 set. The ends are Jeff Webb, 180, and a senior. John Studer, 190, and a senior. The tackles are Jack Lester, 195, and a ju uh, junior. And then Jim Mugley, 180, and a junior. The center, or excuse me, the nose guard is Paul Johnston, 170, and a senior. The linebackers will be Joey Christensen, 170 and a junior. Tim Utek, 190 and a junior. The corners are Joe Wilson, 165 and a senior on the right. And Dave Larimer, 175 and a senior on the left. Eddie Melville, 155 and a senior as a uh, strong safety. Cal Level, 155 and a senior, uh, and a junior, excuse me, is the uh, free safety. So that's the pregame show brought to you as always by Les Schwab uh, Tire Center. The Don McClure Tire Center, your Les Schwab Tire dealer on West Court Street in Pasco. And now, stay tuned for Pasco High School Football. Pasco High School Sports on KONA. Brought to you in part by Modern Mechanics, Road 28 and Sylvester in Pasco. By Hawes Western Wear, 310 North Fort. And by the Chinese Gardens at 4th and Court in Pasco. And Pasco Clothing, 415 West Lewis. And by Northlight Studio of Photography in Pasco and in Kennewick. Follow the Bulldogs on Kona Radio. It all started back in 1914 and in 1975. 65 years later, they're still going at it. Pasco and Kennewick, but for the first time in the history of the two schools, the homecoming game is being played at night. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Frank Murray. I'll be doing the play-by-play -play for tonight's game as Pasco and Kennewick meet here at KHS Stadium in Kennewick. We're just about set for the kickoff of tonight's game in a nearly full house capacity. Uh, the Kennewick side of the rooting section, about uh, 3,000 strong, is uh, full. And the Pasco side across the way, well, there must be close to 1,000 there for the Bulldogs. Kennewick won the toss, elected to receive, and the Bulldogs will be kicking off from the left hash mark as the field runs east and west, and Pasco will be defending here in the first quarter. The west, or excuse me, the east goal kicking to the east, and Kennewick sends Gordon Hudson along with Eddie Pacheco, excuse me, Cal Lovell, back to their own 15-yard line as Welch has the ball teed up at the hash mark and is set to kick off. Pasco holds a huge edge in the series, but Kennewick is favored tonight, and the kick is high and short, and it's level at his own 25. At the 30, and he slipped over his own man and fell down right at the 30-yard line. So that's where the Kennewick Lions will start. A lot at stake tonight for Kennewick, of course. A playoff in the making if they win, maybe if they win. A win does not guarantee a playoff spot for the Kennewick Lions tonight, but it certainly obviously would help. If they don't win, Kamiak and Richland would have to lose. Out of the huddle come the Lions first down on their own 30-yard line. Split men both ways, Neil Palmer and Dennis Banker, the running back. Scott Conley, the junior quarterback, third team at the start of the year, is now running the show. He has the last several weeks. He turns, he gives for, uh, across the 35, out to the 38-yard line with the ball for Kennewick. Goes Dennis Banker, the fullback, and he took the ball from the... Uh, 
40-yard line out to the Kennewick, a 39 for a seven-yard gain. It's second down and about two yards to go. At the 38-yard line, second and two is an eight-yard pickup for Dennis Banker. Out of the huddle come the uh, Lions. They have a slot left and a split end to the left side. Split back behind quarterback Conley. The tight end is on the right. Conley steps right, gives away. The Banker slanting off the left side on a counter. He's over the 35-40. He's heading over the 50. We'll have to hurry to get him. He's over the 35-40. He's down to the pass for 23-yard line and run out of bounds. Dennis Banker ripping off on the quick counter to the left that, the side that time. And took the ball all the way to the Bulldog 23-yard line. First down and 10 for the Lions. On the Pasco, 23, so they strike quickly now. Pickup of 38 yards on that gain by Banker. They're at the left hash mark with running room of the Lions. They come out of the huddle and they send. Right, Eddie Pacheco right. wide to the right side now. 23, I right. And Arnie Mulvick is split to the left. Split backs behind Conley. Conley turns. He pitches to uh, Banker trying to sweep the right or other. Bomber, he's over the 15. He'll score. Easy 10, 5. Touchdown, Kettleway. Like easy, Neil Palmer goes 23 yards for the Kennewick touchdown. 70 yards in just three plays. They blew the Bulldogs out. It's 6-0 Kennewick, and Tim Utek will try and add the extra point. Less, almost uh, just a little over a minute gone, a minute seven seconds gone in the first period, and Kennewick has scored. Palmer goes 23 yards for the touchdown. Orman will hold. Excuse me, Conley will hold, and the kick is up in the air, and it is good. Timeout on the field, 10.53 to go in the first quarter, and the score, Kennewick 7 and half to nothing. This year, make driving easier. Have the fellows at Modern Mechanics in Pasco install electronic cruise control in your vehicle, car, pickup, or motorhome. Those extended drives can be less tiring and you're bound to get better gas mileage by keeping your speed under control with cruise control. If you're a bit skeptical, ask Larry Lee at Modern Mechanics, Road 28 and West Sylvester in Pasco. Well, the Kennewick Lions went 70 yards in just three plays. Neil Palmer went the final 22. Proceeding, that was a 38-yard run by Dennis Banker to set it up. As three running plays and Kennewick is in, and the Bulldogs have their backs to the wall already with a 2-6 and six mark against Kennewick, which has a lot of life tonight. And the Lions need a win. Well, you can say they need it or don't need it, but uh, it'd be better to get it than not get it. Uh, three-way tie right now for second place in the Big Nine. Should all three Ken uh, teams win in second place, Richland, Kamayak, and Kennewick tonight, there'd be a three-way playoff at Edgar Brown Stadium next week. But uh, we'll get more detail about that as we go. Kamayak and, of course, up at Eisenhower. Richland is hosting Davis. Kennewick is leading here 7 to nothing, with only a minute and seven seconds gone. And Buckingham pick kicks off. He kicks it high, and it's headed towards Willie Northern at his own 20. He's up over the 25-30. 35, Willie Northern to the 39-yard line. Tackle made on the play for the uh, Kennewick Lions by Tim Utek. Maska starts first and 10 on the Bulldog, 39. 7-0, Kennewick is leading early in the first quarter. Pasco will go now as uh, Joe Palomares goes out of the football game with a three running back set, almost a full house tee. We watched it in practice earlier. One wide receiver, that's Bill Bowles to the left side. And Kerry Fink is at quarterback. Kennewick in a 5-2 set with the defensive ends not in the three-point stance. Fink calls the play. He pitches back. No, he gives the ball away to Davis. Halfback pass coming over the middle. Geyer is there, and it's incomplete. Covering on the play was Joe Wilson, the left side cornerback for Kennewick. And it brings up second down and 10 yards to go Pasco on the Bulldog 39. So Pasco is incomplete on the first attempt of the game. And now Bulls goes out of the game, and let's see who comes in there now. Paul. Now, uh, Mark Rossiter is in there as the split end for Pasco. Now, let's see how they come out in this set. Kennewick is leading by a score of 7 to nothing. Bulldogs out of the huddle. Same formation, but this time Rossiter is the split end to the left side. Pasco goes to power eye now. 
Calling the play quarterback, Kerry Fink on second down, 10. Kennewick leading, 7 to nothing. In motion goes Davis. Quick pitch to Davis. Going to try and sweep the right side. Trying to get outside. After him, hot pursuit. He's got speed. He's over the uh, 45 and out to the 46-yard line, Mark Davis. That's one thing Pasco hasn't had this year is much speed to get to the outside. But they do that time in the form of Mark Davis. And he took the ball over the 45 out to the 46-yard line. The gain is 6. It is third down and four. Bulldog on the Pasco 46-yard line. Mark Davis, the ball carrier. It was student body right that time, and Davis picked up six yards. But Kennewick is leading seven to nothing. Right, I know. That's why I said coach. <laughs> All right, uh, got the Pasco coaches up here, but uh, we've been watching them in practice uh, this week, and we knew uh, had some idea what they were going to run. Pasco's in the quick eye formation now. Jim Geyer on the tail of a tandem on third down, four yards to go. Calling the play is Kerry Fink. He rolls out to the left side, looks like a busted play. He's going to have to eat it for a big loss. He's all the way back inside the pass, go 40, and he's tackled down at the 36. A busted play that time, and the Bulldogs lose big. Ten-yard loss on the play. So it'll bring up fourth down in a punting situation. Pass go back on the pass go 36-yard line as Gordon Hudson and Cal Lovell go deep for the Kennewick Lions, standing around their own 30-yard line, and Geyer goes back in punt formation. All right, let's see. It looks like Kennewick may peel back the return, put the return on this one. Geyer is standing inside his 20. Kennewick is leading 7-0, first quarter, nine and a half minutes to go. Good snap from center. He'll have time. Gets it away. Fairly short kick. Rebound. Lovell coming forward. Goes right by Lovell. Hudson picks it back up on his own 30-yard uh, line. Starts up field. Dances away from a couple of tacklers, and his tackle as he got over the 35. Out near the Pasco 37-yard line. Stop made by Jim Geyer, the punter. That punt comes with 9.20 to go now in the first quarter. Kennewick is leading by a score of 7-0, and the Lions have the ball first down on their own 37-yard line. The last time they had it, they went 70 yards in three plays. And out of the huddle they come now. They send Melvick wide to the left side. In the slot inside of him is uh, Eddie Pacheco. Gordon Hudson is tied in on the right, and Dennis...